corrupt Republican Kelly Loeffler in Georgia is currently competing for a U.S. Senate seat, and she really should be in prison. She shouldn't be running for president after we just found out that she was doing insider trading this year, sold her stocks after she was briefed on the coronavirus. But nonetheless, she's still running. But I want to look at her campaign strategy because it's really interesting to me. The way that she is criticizing her opponent, Raphael Warnock, is by trying to tie him to members of the squad and claim that this individual is an extremist. Now, Reverend Raphael Warnock is nothing like any of the members of the squad, unfortunately. He's just a milquetoast centrist Democrat. He doesn't even support Medicare for All, and he's a reverend who supposedly believes in Jesus. Because, you know, of course, Jesus supported access to affordable health care. But I digress. She is trying to attack him by comparing him to the squad. So she tweeted this out. It's no wonder the squad fully supports Reverend Warnock. He totally supports their dangerous and extreme agenda, I wish. And Ilhan Omar completely agrees with his disgraceful comments about our active service members, veterans, and their families. Now, the article that she links to is completely fucking stupid because it's apparently a scandal that in 2011, in a sermon, Reverend Warnock said that nobody can serve God and the military at the same time. And none of this is relevant because God is not real. He's not. There's no evidence that God exists, so it's not going to be relevant what somebody says about God for this U.S. Senate seat and this race in general. Uh, but furthermore, if you are going to self-identify as someone who is religious, if you're pro-life, as Kelly Loeffler is, I'm assuming, then you might want to tone down the worship of our military and U.S. militarism and militarism in general. But nonetheless, uh, this is supposedly a scandal. Like, I don't get why this is so controversial. But nonetheless, Ilhan Omar, you know, she doesn't support Reverend Warnock because he's quote unquote extreme. She supports him because he's not Kelly Loeffler. She is a literal criminal who should be in prison because, again, she was caught doing insider trading. But instead of being punished, she is running for a United States Senate seat. Now, Ilhan responded, pointing this out, saying blatant lies from the disastrous insider trading QAnon conspiracy supporting fear mongering appointed Kelly. Pro tip to win an election, you run on ideas, debate your actual opponent and defend your record, not run against the squad. Ask Trump. He fucked around and found out. Now, I love that response from her. And uh, when she says QAnon conspiracy supporting, basically, uh, the reason why she's pointing this out with regard to Kelly Loeffler isn't necessarily because Kelly Loeffler supports QAnon or believes in that, but she has embraced QAnon Congresswoman-elect Marjorie Taylor Greene. And Marjorie Taylor Greene is on the stump for her, which is someone who you want to distance yourself from if you want people to think that you're sane. Uh, but Kelly Loeffler responded basically by saying, um, no you when it comes to corruption. And she tweeted, Ilhan, we saw the video of you smiling and laughing while talking about Al-Qaeda and 9-11. We know that you funneled millions of dollars to your new husband's consulting firm. And we know that you're an unabashed anti-Semite. You should be expelled from Congress. Now, of course, none of this is true at all. Uh, when she says that Ilhan Omar was smiling and laughing, uh, talking about Al-Qaeda and 9-11, Ilhan Omar, I mean, we talked about this on the program, she was saying because some people did something, she doesn't want the entire community of Muslims in the world, which is more than a billion people, to be demonized and make it seem as if they, you know, supported the attacks on 9-11. We don't even have to get through all of this because, uh, you know, go, going through all of these attacks one by one, we know that this is a bad faith actor. She's an anti-Semite because she speaks up for Palestinian rights, right? And if she's an anti-Semite, Kelly, then you are an Islamophobe because you don't care about Palestinian rights. So Ilhan responded to this by basically brushing it aside saying, sorry, Kelly, if you need help writing a real clap back, I am here to help. This ain't it. Try harder. And I think that's really all that you can say because Kelly Loeffler is not a serious person. Again, this individual should be in prison. She should at least be fined, but she's running for a U.S. Senate seat. And yet she has the audacity to say that Ilhan Omar is the one who should be expelled from Congress. Why? What's the specific reason why you think that she should be expelled from Congress? You should not be allowed to run for the Senate 
after you have been busted insider trading. Like, this should be a bigger scandal than it is. But the fact that she is still there and her colleagues are there, like Dianne Feinstein and other senators who literally got caught doing insider trading, that should be outrageous to everyone. Uh, but that kind of ended between Kelly Loeffler and Ilhan Omar. And then out of the blue, uh, QAnon Congresswoman-elect herself, Marjorie Taylor Greene, decided to jump in and attack Ilhan Omar in the dumbest way imaginable, saying, back down Ilhan Omar, you married your brother, so you're, <laughs> so you're disqualified from running your mouth. Got her. Now, seeing that there is about a 60% or higher chance that Marjorie Taylor Greene fucked her cousin at least once, I don't think that she, of all people, should be uh, using this particular conspiracy theory about Ilhan Omar. I mean, there are other conspiracy theories that you can use, but she's using this one. Now, Ilhan Omar responded by saying, looks like crazy lady has logged on. I know things might be different where you come from, but you have to get off of the loony train now <laughs> that you are in Congress. Marjorie then responded saying, don't even get me started on where you come from. We don't marry our brother here in America. So I'm not sure who you're calling crazy. And I love that she's just like so committed to this conspiracy theory that Ilhan Omar married her brother. Lady, <laughs> you believe in QAnon. So nothing that you believe is valid or legitimate. Like anything that you say should be dismissed because you said it. Like that's how crazy you are. But Ilhan Omar, she stopped responding at that point. But she did, however, retweet one of her colleagues who responded to Marjorie Taylor Greene in a way that was surprisingly savage. So Congressional Progressive Caucus co-chair Mark Pocon actually tweeted out, my new colleague is classless. I hope she decides to be more professional when she gets sworn in. So far, she's off to an awful start. You were elected to be a member of Congress, not a spokesperson for QAnon lunatics. Try growing the fuck up, please. Yeah, that's, uh, that pretty much says it all. And, you know, in some ways, I'm really, I'm discouraged to see political discourse, uh, come to this, where we're not necessarily debating policies or ideology, and you have these dipshits like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Kelly Loeffler tweeting out conspiracy theories about Ilhan Omar that she married her fucking brother or supports 9-11 or laughed at 9-11. I mean, this is what we have to deal with. How are we supposed to, we being like anyone who's not a Republican, work with these types of people, unify with these types of people? There's just, there's no common ground. There's a disconnect there uh, between them and reality. So how do you find any areas of opportunity to work with individuals like this who are just insane. Like Marjorie Taylor Greene, Kelly Loeffler, these are like your racist Facebook aunts that share boomer memes all the time about how Hillary Clinton like made a deal with the devil literally to like become the president or some shit. It just, it's a sad state of affairs when we have these types of Republicans coming to power because they are so insane that they make individuals like Sarah Palin, who was previously seen as the most crazy, look relatively reasonable. So it's a, uh, it's a little disturbing, but nonetheless, I am going to admit I do find it entertaining. So there's that, I guess.